hello guys good evening welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to copy objects from one amazon s3 bucket to another bucket using two different aws accounts so this is my source account s3 bucket and this is my destination account s3 bucket so i am using a iam policy here so in the iam policy i need to fetch the bucket objects and i need to put in place of my target bucket in s3 so let's get and achieve this so let's get back to in the source account so go to s3 and create your own bucket create a bucket name it as source bucket I'll give it as name whatever the name it is uh, random you can choose whatever it is so let's get back into the destination account and create a s3 bucket with a different name so s3 is a unique so it's a global So this is my bucket in the destination account. So this is my source account bucket and this is my destination account bucket. So let me copy some objects into this S3 bucket. I'll upload my files, some files like So I have uploaded some random files of file upload it so you think that uh, in s3 we can copy from one bucket to an other bucket in the same account but I am showing you how to copy this s3 objects into a different account to here to this s3 bucket so how to achieve this so I am using a IAM policy here so go to IAM create your own policy So create a policy <coughs> so go to json so i have written a json policy for iam so this is will affect you as in the destination account uh, you need to create a iam policy to copy s3 objects from source so copy this policy and before that you need to change your arn of the source bucket and arn of the destination bucket so go to properties Copy the ARN of the source bucket and edit it. And the same thing you need to go to S3 in the destination account and copy the ARN and paste it here. So that's it, guys. And you need to copy. Go to the IAM policy and paste it here. So this policy will review and you need to create a policy with the name. So I will name it as IAM policy S3 IAM policy. So the policy has been created so let's get back to the users and you need to create an user with a access key programmatic access so it will give an access key and id key so you need to go with this and you need to copy from source to destination bucket the objects so i'll name it as test hyphen user I'll go to the access key programmatic access and I need to attach a policy where I have created S3 IAM policy I am attaching it is in my customer manager policy so review it as and create user and download your CSV 
this file. So from the destination account, you can verify that the policy has been attached to the IAM user. So this is my policy which I have attached to my user. So copy this ARM and go to the source bucket and change the permissions of the bucket policy. So you need to change the bucket policy of these permissions. And this is my source bucket policy I have written. So you need to copy this ARM here. So this is my ARM of the IAM user in the destination account. You need to copy this and you need to paste the source bucket here. Go to the source bucket ARM and copy this ARM and paste it here. So this is my source ARM policy of this source bucket and copy this. So if you see here the policy, this is the indicates the destination account uh, account number and the username as it is it is created with the ARN so you need to give it as a permission policy in the S3 so go to edit and paste it here so there are zero and zero warnings I have not paste Let me check the ARN of this. Okay. The same ARN I have given. It is saying that syntax error for the gist must be this started with the column only. Let me pause the video. Let me check if there is error. So the error is I have not given the semi quotes. So this is the error of the syntax error. So save changes. So the bucket policy has been applied. So these are the my files I need to copy into the destination account of this S3 to here. So go to the IAM and generate a security credentials. Create access key and security key which you have created earlier. So I am creating now again. So these are the my security credentials which you need to access S3 bucket access key and security key so if you are using a linux machine you need to configure uh, amazon linux too why because it is defaulted install the uh, ssm agent and uh, aws configure aws cli so i have installed aws cli in my local computer and you need to give aws configure it will ask your access key and secret key so this is my access key And this is my secret key to get rid of space errors so I am copying here so this is my access key and this is my secret key so default region will be episode so if you want to change the region you can give the name and default output format is JSON so it is none so now it has been done so you need to copy S3 objects from here to the destination account. So this S3, you need to copy the same names, S3 copy names. So you need to enter the command S3 sync S3 column slash slash so the, cop, uh, the source bucket name, source bucket Wednesday is my source bucket name. 
and s3 colon slash slash and this is my destination bucket so if you want to specify ap region if it is in different accounts and different regions so my bucket is in the same region and the destination bucket is in the same region so if you click hit enter it will copy the source bucket objects into the destination bucket so this is where you can get with the sync command so it will automatically copies the s3 objects into the destination bucket so let's verify this in the s3 console so refresh it so these are the my five objects which i have uploaded in the source bucket so it has been reflected to the destination bucket this is where uh, how you can use the iam policy in the target account and to fetch the source bucket objects into the destination bucket so that's it guys thanks for watching my video please do like share and subscribe for more videos let me know if you have any queries please post in the comment box